essentially very young granitic formations and decomposed granite. And on decomposed granite you have really, if you plant Sivam over there, the Grenache or Senso or Carignan or any red for the orientation we get on the wine. And we have quite a bit of our vineyards in these granitic soils. Second mountain in the area is a mountain which is called the Rivet Mountain. And the Rivet Mountain is a, is a formation of red slate or pisara or schist or shifa. And, and that soil is a soil, it's just a slate formation with a high level of iron in it. That's why it's got that red color that's been oxidizing. And it's the kind of soils that you'll find in the Douro, you'll find in the Roussillon, in the mountains up uh, in, the, in, the, in the latter part of the wood. Four wise years. We probably made one of our wines that will have the longest ageability because we had more concentration than we will likely have. The, the vigor, the leaves, gets more. But every leaf that you get on the top is also a leaf that needs maintenance. So it's evaporating, it's respirating, all of that. And that's why in a young vine you don't have these equilibriums. You always got to bring it back a little bit for the first 18 years at least. It's slightly more modern. What's kind of plant the one that anybody would like to plant? Oh, and you say, oh, no. Um, I mean, everyone did what? Everybody, all, all the writers, everybody said, oh, oh, and you would say, oh, no, it's not that such a nice one. Yeah. Not this one. No, I, Don't roll about this I, I really uh, love the O4, you know, and it was for me a shock when this wine, yeah. internationally, just the, it was the first South African wine that actually was getting that international yeah. writings and stuff. This one broke like all the barriers that any South African red wine hasn't broken. But I still think it's a very good wine. I just think we like this one is still way too young, and uh, we'll have to wait at least another ten years for this wine to come around. Uh, it's, it's got more vibrancy in it, and it's got more life in it. And the big question still for the people, even if you speak to like the real like, uh, whether it's Lalo Bislavois in, in Burgundy or like the really good guys in the Northern Rhone or like as the Govis down in Charles or whatever, all the guys that work with the local carbon here is, uh, you'll find that, that you might have less color, you might have less of this overtly round tannin, but you, all the wines are always fresher, more vibrant than that. And I think where we work in South Africa, especially on the 35 degree latitude, we're much closer to the sun, things are much warmer. And I mean the biggest ploy is that our wines are often too too much, too ripe, too... I think it's a good strategy to get our wines to be fresher and more vibrant. We are uh, taking, taking our wine.